Well, look, I think it's really important that we shine the light on uh, those individuals and those companies who are really kicking goals in terms of taking Adelaide businesses interstate and to the global market. I think we spend a lot of time focusing on the disadvantages of the Adelaide uh, and the South Australian economy, uh, the size and, and, and the nature of the SMEs, but we really do have some fantastic global companies that are operating. They're not huge, they're not the, you know, the large uh, multinationals, but there are still some fantastic companies that are employing a lot of people. There are services that um, are difficult to substitute. But if you're uh, in a business where you have potentially an overseas or an interstate competitor, eventually they're going to move into your patch. And if you don't have the volumes and you don't have the, uh, the, the global standards, uh, you'll be put out of business. Look, I think we've got to play to our strengths as a state. I mean, we're not going to be a big manufacturing state. That's, those days are gone. But that doesn't mean we can't be clever, bespoke manufacturers. That doesn't mean that we can't have innovative products. Um, I think technology and technology services are a real opportunity for Adelaide-based companies. You know, a lot of people sit down and uh, have said to me over the years, you know, how did you attract the right people and the talent? That, that was never a problem. Um, there are really clever people in Adelaide. There are people who choose to live in Adelaide for, for various reasons, lifestyle reasons, and what they're looking for is a global challenge. If you can present them with a global challenge, they'll, they'll embrace it. I, I had a fabulous career building a, a global company out of Adelaide and I, uh, I got enormous uh, personal and, and, and life rewards out of doing that. The Impact Awards to me is a way of um, perhaps helping the next generation to do the same sort of things.